You're listening to Veterans Radio Net. Around the UK and the world. Veterans Radio Net. Keeping veterans stronger together. Morning and welcome to Breakfast from Portree with me, Dusty. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. That was the band of Her Majesty's Cold, Cold Stream Guards with the Trumpet Voluntary. A nice way to wake you up uh, in the morning. <coughs> good morning, Ken. Good morning, Ian. And good morning, Eric. Uh, Ken, I hope you're feeling a lot better, pal. Uh, and I'm keeping this show. I'm not letting you have it back. I enjoy doing it. No, seriously, mate. Uh, when you're ready, you shout. I'll hand the reins back. But uh, it's keeping me sane at the moment. And you know the reason why. Right now, I know that our Mr Dowling is hiding out there. Well, I'm sure... He'll recognise this piece. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But I'll tell you at the end of it. So here we go. Of you. 
There we go, folks. Run rig and stepping down the glory road. I knew Ian would be in at some point this morning, so there we go. That's one for Ian, because I know he likes that noise. Eh, that band. Um, Eric, per your request there uh, for El Silencio, um, yes, I will be closing out the breakfast shows, while well, I'm doing them anyway, with El Silencio. Uh because I think it's a fabulous piece of music. And what time do I finish? I finish at just shortly before 10 a.m. So give me a shout as soon as you're back, and I will run that the rest of this story. Just to update you folks, yesterday I ran with a story that um, Eric sent, well, I posted it, and he sent the story to me, and it was about a lad who, his relationship had broken down, and um, he, they tried to book him into bed and breakfast, and suddenly there was no rooms available, after being told that there were several available. But I will quickly scan over it again this morning and I will then bring in the update that Eric has sent me. But that will be after 9.15 when our mate Eric is back. And if you're going down the shops, Eric, I could do with a pint of milk, mate, please. Right now, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. I'm going round to Twist this morning, folks. Uh, if I can find what I'm looking for. Yes, there it's there. This morning's headlines, this is from the BBC News. Councils warned over child sex abuse. Vulnerable children in England were at risk of sexual exploitation because of feelings by councils. The education watchdog Ofsted warns. NH NHS to publish surgeon outcomes data. Information on how patients fare with specific surgeons in England is to be highlighted in an NHS transparency drive. And here's another one. UK to lead moon landing in 10 years. A British... Thanks, Eric. Uh, a British-led consortium outlines its plans to land a robotic probe paid for by public nations on the moon in 10 years' time. Well, what do they need to do that for? Why don't they just use the moon buggies that's already sitting up there doing nothing? Uh, because they are active now. I saw a program a few weeks ago, and uh, it's one of these science programs, and they've actually reactivated the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the moon buggy. Uh, they've had it running about, so I don't know why they, need, why they need to stick a probe up. Why don't they just get the moon buggy to do the job? Peter, yep, thank you, mate. I just noticed your post there. Uh, Israel, the Prime Minister there, vows to vows resolute response. Prime Minister ben Benjamin Netanyahu vows to win a battle for Jeros Jerusalem as the Israeli death toll in, uh, the Palestin uh, in a Palestinian attack on a synagogue rises to five. Uh, I honestly don't know, mate. It, Peter, it could be a, a fault at your end. Can uh, anybody out there give me a sound check, please? Because Peter seems to keep losing me. Peter gets lost anyway. Oh, by the way, Peter... Um, I don't know whether you see uh, my profile picture this morning. <laughs> I'll send it you. And you can use that as your profile if you like. A meerkat army medic. Uh, mounted police boost to public trust. Levels of public trust and confidence in police are higher when officers are deployed on horseback. A report assessing the value of the patrol suggests... Thanks, Ken. Uh, Peter, it's a fault at your end, because I'm loud and clear 
All right. <coughs> all you had to do, mate, was press F5. That was all you had to do. And that refreshes it. Well, I don't know what you, whether you heard what I said there, Peter. I don't know whether you've noticed my um, profile picture this morning. It's a meerkat medic. So I will send you the picture. And you can use that as your profile. Because it looks gay like gay right enough. Right now, uh, back to some music. Mr. Francis, <coughs> excuse me, folks. <coughs> Mr. Francis Albert Sinatra, more commonly known as Frank Sinatra. And this is The Girl from Ipanema. Parece um poema É a coisa mais linda que eu já vi passar 